Howdy, SEO Moz fans. Welcome to a special emergency edition uh, of Whiteboard Day Agnostic. We'll interrupt any day to do this. Unfortunately, Google has made a big change uh, to the way that they are serving keyword referral data from their search results. And this is going to have uh, an unfortunate impact on all of us who do White Hat SEO, who do web analytics, and who try to learn from this practice. Uh, I want to try in this whiteboard video to explain why this has happened, uh, what Google is doing, and, and sort of why, they're, uh, why they claim they're doing it, and then also explore some of the reasons that they might actually be doing it, and uh, try to provide some actionable information about what folks in the web analytics and SEO spheres can do since this data uh, may become less available. So let's start by explaining what happens when you do a Google search today. So for example, I've done a Google search here for Learn SEO. I click the search button and some results pop up. And here's this nice uh, Learn SEO, SEO Moz, www.seomoz.org, right? Oh, Learn SEO. And then there's an ad over here, Learn SEO from paymebucks.com. Uh, click on my ad, dude, I need your visits bad. Uh, that probably would not get approved by the uh, AdWords people, but you can get the idea. Now, previously, if I were to click this result or this result, uh, the web analytics tool, whatever it is, uh, you know, your web trends, your Omniture, your Google Analytics, at the other end would get some referral data. So with your log file, get some referral data about what sent that visit, which keyword sent that visit. So in this case, it would be learn SEO, sent a visit from google.com uh, search over to my website. And it would track whether it's a paid or an organic ad. This is changing. It is changing only uh, for folks who are logged in. If you are searching from Google and you are logged in, uh, this will be changing so that the logged in behavior, the keyword that referred the visit will be shown as not provided. Uh, and this is, this will show in your web analytics. That, that's what Google will say. They'll use these parentheses. Uh, that's how you can see it in the, in the Google Analytics uh, dashboard currently. However, if you click this paid search ad, they will still be providing uh, the keyword learn SEO. So logged out behavior in purple here, logged out behavior uh, always gets keyword learn SEO as the referrer. Logged in behavior gets keyword not provided if you click on organic results, but if you're paying Google, you will still be able to see the referral information. Now Google claims this is for, they're doing this to protect user privacy so that users uh, who are logged in will by default not be uh, showing their searches to the, the, the websites that they visit. Unfortunately, I, I think there's a lot of people in the search world uh, and, and folks who observe this who have rightfully stated, well, if Google were trying to protect privacy, they've already to some extent done that by providing a secure search, HTTPS search, which is what's doing this as well, the SSL uh, search, for those people who would not like to provide that, provide that information. And some very small portion of people do use that, that form of Google search, the sort of protected search. Uh, so it's already available. The reason they're doing this by default, uh, I guess, is I think that many people suspect, I'll, I'll link to a great article by Ian Lurie uh, of Porta and Interactive, who I think prognosticates or, or posits uh, the actual reason for this is that ad networks today are being very successful using search referral data uh, from visitors and they're able to leverage that data across multiple websites and so Google is hoping to remove that ability and be the only ad network that can be aware of your search behavior thus sort of blocking out uh, other providers using their near monopoly in search uh, to exclude other people from being able to use this data. That's frustrating, it's sad, it's upsetting. Uh, it certainly doesn't fit with what we know about Google, but I think the unfortunate thing here is that those of us in the web analytics SEO sphere are going to have a tough battle to fight from a PR angle because Google can play the, no, this is to protect your privacy card uh, and use that as their excuse. Of course, if that were the case, it seems very odd that you can pay them and still get the data. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve judgment on that and I'll let folks make their own decisions. I do think it's very important that we not just get upset about this, we also think about what we can do actionably. Anytime uh, a major player in the search world or social world or inbound world makes a big change, we need to figure out what is it, how is it that we can best respond, how can we use data, uh, how can we continue to be great marketers. And so there's a couple of things that I would recommend. First off, you should be measuring the quantity and percent of the lost keyword data. That, 
That is a very important metric that you're going to want to track over time. To do this, you simply go to your web analytics tool. You grab the number of not provided uh, keywords that sent or uh, referrals that came to you, visits that came to you. Divide that by your total visits from Google Organic, and you will get the percent of search referrals affected by this. And you want to track this over time because you want to know if that's going up, if more people who are logged into Google are searching and finding your site, uh, what percent of data you're losing, whether this is going to be a big problem as Google rolls it out more broadly. And you can see some data from SEO models. So let's take a look at our own data. This is from Sunday to Thursday of this week, so ending uh, yesterday. We're, we're filming this on Friday for release tomorrow, Saturday. And you can see not provided uh, was 1,162 or 1.2% 1 of the visits over these five days. However, the number's going up. So as of uh, Sunday, we had zero visits that did not contain any keyword data. Monday had 90, Tuesday had 111, Wednesday 381, Thursday 421. That is 2.2%. So you can see that we've lost uh, keyword information on about 2%, a little over 2% of our visits and climbing. So this is frustrating. Google has said that they expect this will be less than 10% for most websites. So we, we hope to continue to get 90% of the data. And that leads me to number two. You can continue to leverage data from sources like uh, the existing Google data, which should be hopefully around 90% uh, of what you have today. Bing and Yahoo data, of course, which are responsible for around uh, anywhere between 10 and 20% of your search referrals, depending on your industry and niche. And of course, your internal search query data. What you, I mean, this data is invaluable not only for doing keyword research and targeting, but also figuring out conversion rates, uh, trying to optimize for those visitors, make their user experience better. It, it's really only for white hat types of activities. So it's frustrating that, that Google pulled this uh, rather than maybe tackling something more black hat focused. But we have what we have. Uh, and number three, if you do feel strongly about this issue, there's lots of opportunities you can, uh, I, I don't want to say complain, but lots of opportunities to let Google know how you feel. You know, this is a change that they're making and they're currently planning on making and rolling out and have been rolling out. But that doesn't mean that they might not backtrack if user feedback is overwhelmingly negative. Um, and certainly that would be nice for all of those of us in the, in the analytics sphere who like to use this data. So you can uh, obviously blog about it, write about it. Uh, you could even write to your congressional lab. There are several uh, forums. Uh, the, the Google blog post announcing this accepts comments. Uh, the Google Webmaster Tools forum certainly accepts comments. Uh, and you can also contact your AdWords representatives and let them know uh, that you're not totally thrilled by this move either. Remember, AdWords data is still passing the refer. It's organic search that's affected. So hopefully, uh, this won't affect too big a percentage of, of search queries, and thus we'll still continue to have some good data. But uh, given Google's efforts to try and make more people be logged into Google+, to Gmail, to Google hosted apps, uh, I don't know. There's, there's lots of, I think, fear and uncertainty right now in the analytics world. But with that said, you have some actionable things you can do. You should definitely start tracking this data. And hopefully, we will see you again next week for another edition of Whiteboard Friday, rather an inter emergency interrupting version. We hope we don't have too many of these. All right. Take care, everyone.